We're at the end of day two of my 90 day Raising My Manifesting Vibration Challenge. Daphne here, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I want you to go back and watch my introductory video and my day one so that you can be here with me at day two and have an idea of what I'm talking about. So today I'm reading through the manual and I came across, uh, I stopped when I got to the dream um, meditation uh, guide. So, uh, because a lot, I feel like I hit a certain point today where I really need to focus on that and really embrace it before I move on. I might even do the dream thing tonight. So, you know, so that it can affect my dreams. So, one of the things that it talks about was what I madly, truly, deeply want in life because I need to have an exact idea of what I want because if I throw out I don't know or I'm not sure, then how can the universe give me anything back? Well, it can't because I'm not asking for anything specific. So it doesn't know what to give me. You know, I, I thought about the, you know, you always see the genies who, when people make their wishes, the genie has an interpretation of it. And it usually is malicious or not anything like what the wisher had asked, had really intended to ask for. But they weren't specific enough to ask for exactly what they wanted, so they didn't get it. They got some jumbled mess of it. So here I am putting everything down on paper. Now there were some leading questions in there about, um, here my notebook again, my lovely fuzzy lover print notebook. Um, so it, each question kind of led on and I feel like at the very end of it I was able to give a good summary. So it's pretty long, like it was literally this entire page. So I'm not gonna go through every single item. I'll give you the rundown, otherwise this video just gets too long. So, um, you know, basically the thing said, you know, where do you want to see your, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And that's a question that a lot of people get asked to interviews. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, the intention is totally different, but it's something that a lot of people don't really put a whole lot of thought into. And that's why you don't get anything because you don't put a whole lot of thought and, you know, up until this year, I hadn't really put a whole lot of thought into it. I mean, everybody wants to, you know, be rich beyond their wildest dreams, but nobody has anything specific other than that, like how they're going to get there and exactly what they're going to do, what they want to do, like specifics. It really is specific because I've done it kind of generally and I haven't reached the level that I want to be at yet. I'm learning. So my biggest thing was, um, you know, making sure that I spend time with my family and everything that I do, that my life journey incorporates all of them because they're so very important for me. So I can't do anything that is going to take away from them. You know, I have three boys, eight, two, and almost one. So, uh, you know, plus my husband. So there's five of us. And we still have a lot of life to live together before, you know, the little birds fly the nest. So I want to make sure everything that I do incorporates my family. Wherever I travel, wherever I go, they come with me when it's for business. And that way we can enjoy wherever we're at for pleasure as well. So in 10 years, um, you know, I want to be living in Florida and I chose Florida because it's the most tropical part of the United States that isn't an island. And there's the U.S. Virgin Islands, but that's not a place that I want to live. And I still want to remain in the United States because I love America. I know, sounds, sounds cliche, but, um, but living in a, in a huge house that we designed and paid cash for so that it's really our home and that we don't owe anybody anything for it. Um, all vehicles will be paid cash. We'll be traveling the world, inspiring everyone we meet. We will have spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical fulfillment to the fullest. We will fill stadiums and empower people by the millions. So I have 
big dreams and I go into specifics like I said I won't go into it there but I have all the specifics of all of that in writing where I can look at it every single day and you know these are things that I absolutely want to do I want to empower people to live exactly how we were meant to live because we weren't meant to live as slaves and the people who are ready to break free from that need an out, they need some guidance, they need somebody to show them, right? That's how we all discover new things somebody's shown us or maybe we've gone out looking for it and come across somebody who's told us what we need to do. I want to be that person that you're searching for. I want to be that person who's, you know, seeking, you know, sending that information out into the universe that you're seeking for so you can find it. That's me. That's where I'm going to get to. And another thing that my reading today covered was um, limiting, limiting beliefs. And I don't know if I necessarily agree with writing them down. I don't know if that kind of counteracts writing down what I want, you know, and then I've got what I don't want, but it said to write them down just so that I can watch out for them. And I've really got honest with myself. And, you know, the biggest, um, you know, I left this page open and I'm going to leave it open. So that if I come up with anything else to add to it, then I can just get rid of it. And um, so one of my biggest things is that if I don't do it before I'm 30, I never will. Well, I've turned 30 here in two months. I know I'm not going to hit my big dream in the next two months, but I'm going to make huge progress, especially with the help of this 90-day challenge. So... Um, you know, that's something that I've had to really get over, and uh, I, I don't know how. I don't know the right people. I don't have the resources. That's, those are things that everybody says, but, um, you know, my I'm just thinking of one as I'm, um, you know, as I'm doing this video here. Self-doubt is one, and in there, it's in the manual, it says to name that little voice in your head, that gremlin that is being negative and telling you no. Well... I named that Gremlin and her name is Doubting Darla because a lot of things that are negative in my mind are doubt. And, you know, and it says to give, give your Gremlin a face and really what it looks like. And it honestly looks like a mix of um, Gollum from Lord of the Rings and the um, House Elves from Harry Potter and the, um, oh, the... Gringotts Goblins, kind of a mix of those three, like the bigger nose with the shorter, like skinnier st stature and like the weird things. Like I made her really ugly in my mind. That's just how she came to me and she doesn't really have a whole lot of hair, but you know, the more that I am audibly addressing her and acknowledging her, but then saying, you know, like, I Doubting Darla, I hear your self-doubt and I understand that. And I know that I am completely capable of doing whatever it is that the doubt thought popped into my mind. And every time that I do that, I imagine this gremlin, this doubting Darla. And each time that I do that, I feel like the more that she's coming to meet me, not that I'm going to meet her, but she's coming to meet me. So she's, even through the course of the day, I feel like she's a little less grotesque than she was when I first imagined her. So my goal is to bring her, well, here, here I am, here she is, bring her to meet me until she can incorporate with me because she, we are exactly the same person at that point. So that was my video. Um, this is all I had for today. So day three, hopefully I'll have some really interesting dreams because I'm going to do the dream manifesting thing tonight to see what I can get going in my dreams and get my subconscious mind really going. So stay tuned for day three. And again, if you haven't watched my intro video or day one, make sure that you watch those so you know what I'm talking about. And you can connect with me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash working for jugs. You can follow me on Twitter or YouTube. You can su subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm everywhere. Everywhere you want to be is where I am. So I will talk to you soon and stay tuned for day three.